Hello friend! Hello! Welcome to our latest Toy Joy video and this time we have some interesting specimens to show you from the world of Deep Space Nine. We have this smart fellow here. Plain simple tailor. <laughs> the facial lightness is not too bad. It's not quite there but it's it's not a million miles away and I, I do like the the snazzy outfit. Points of articulation on this one are very good. And uh, he comes with a uh, Kardashian phaser and for some bizarre reason it's bright blue. Because they all were, don't you remember? No. <laughs> <laughs> Not even close. And he comes with, um, of course, Kardashian pad. Because they uh, were all bright blue as uh, well. Yes. Uh, him being a tailor, comes with a futuristic, this is apparently a tape measure from the future. Welcome to the tape measure of the future. Okay. Yeah, I can't remember him ever using it. I'm sure he did, but I can't remember. You never saw it very clearly. I bet there was that one where he was listening in and he was measuring Cisco for the new suit he didn't need. Oh, uh, possibly, yes. You yes. probably got a glimpse yeah, of it. possibly. Used in, you know, like two episodes. But there you are. Well done for thinking of things to give Garrick. Then it comes a bit unstuck because these huge, great big things. What the hell are they? They're supposed to be data rods. Now, they're as big as his head, <laughs> and the series, they're, they're less size than a finger. I mean, obviously, they couldn't make it in scale, because then choking houses... <laughs> not a good idea. People would be passing through they isolated rods. They look like wall plugs. They look rubbish, don't they? <laughs> <laughs> they just ran out of ideas completely at that point, and, yeah, that doesn't work. Sorry. Ooh. Sorry. And um, I don't know how I feel about this, but he's standing on a base that's um, the insignia of the Cardassian Empire. Hmm. It ought to be a Starfleet communicator because that's more often what he wore when he wore one at all. But there we are, he obviously was Cardassian originally. Hmm. Not sure about that, but anyway. So that's not too bad. And certainly Miles better. <laughs> Can you guess who this is, folks? No, not from the facial No, nope, That's just random Cardassian number 216, isn't it? Except it's not supposed to be random Cardassian 216. Because. Um, they come with these data cards. I should have, I can show you Garak. Garak's is quite nice. Look at yeah. that. That's quite cool. That's obviously the outfit he was wearing. Uh, but I've lost the other one. Uh, tragedy. Put it down somewhere. Uh, pack it. Well, anyway. Oh, there he is. There he is. Whoop. Always be prepared. Yeah, that, that, that's supposed to be Gold Cat, folks. What? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Nothing like. No. Gold Cat doesn't wear lipstick for starters. This guy's got very. Nice shade of grey lipstick you want to show the camera? And the ears, everything's wrong. The ears are wrong, the eyes are wrong, the nose is wrong. The neck isn't even big enough. No. I mean, if they'd just given a big neck, you would have kind of guessed. <laughs> no, it's all kinds of wrong. I mean, that one... It's it's not quite there, but no, it's, it's far close. You could you say, well, that's vaguely Garak, but this is it, not even vaguely. Not really, but that's even This, worse. you think they, they were given the wrong reference picture that when they did like, the face. That looks like a Jemadar. <laughs> it does a bit, actually, yeah. Don't you think? A little bit, yeah. So again, good points of articulation, points for that. Uh, this time he comes with a phaser rifle, which he can hold quite realistically, which is nice. I've not really ever used one, but there you go. And it definitely wasn't bright blue again. Apparently bright blue is the colour for Cardassian stuff. Right. And uh, his bits and pieces, yet again, the ever-exciting Cardassian pad. Uh, he comes with the same pistol as Garak. And uh, this little bit of business here, which I have to read on the packet what this is, because I mean, I've got not a clue. It looks like a tiny sledge. <laughs> How useful in this weather. <laughs> it is, and I quote from the packet, a Cardassian, uh, where are we, field, uh, I can't even read this, field something unit. Mm. Looks like field colon. Field control unit. It isn't of color. It controls colon. fields. What does it make fields do? I, I don't know. I want this one to have cows in it. Bzzz, yes. And this field is going to be full of lobsters because I'm random. To be frank, it makes about as much sense as a Cardassian colon, doesn't it? But there you are. That, that, that's a thing he presumably used once. I don't know. It looks more like a remote control, actually. Don't think. Blimey. So there you are. There's our, and he, he comes with the same base, which is far more logical, obviously, for Gold to Cat, but... Uh, the, the weirdest thing about this uh, discovery is that, remember, I think this was from our last video, <laughs> the Series 2 figure 
I hadn't realised the Series 2 figures are a rather bigger scale. Look at him towering over those two. Now, even the size of his pistol, you compare that with Garax. Garak's going to have all sorts of uh, issues about that, isn't he? I mean, it's obviously far better coloured, but it, it's twice the size. Poor old Garak. <laughs> <laughs> so, look at that. Oh, no wonder they come with bases, because they're already towering over everybody else. That, that does slightly annoy me when they go, they lose the scale of a set of figures, because, you know, you want to... If you wanted to play with them, why is this guy twice the size of the other two? He ate a Mario mushroom. Clearly. He powered up. Powered up Cardassia. Yeah. It looks about as much as like Golden Cow as the other one does, really, doesn't yeah. he? But there we are. A trio of Cardassians for you today. Cheery bye. <laughs>